Hello. Yeah, this uh, session here, we are continuing introduction to e-views for econometrics. Introduction to e-views. We discussed already in the previous uh, video how to import data from Excel into e-views in two different way and how to create variables and save the file. Now we are talking about how to create lag variable lag 1, lag 2, and so on. And later on, we are going to discuss how to create differences, first difference and second difference, in the other video. Now let us start with the how to create lag variable, lag 1 and lag 2. We have to go to eViews, and then we have to bring the data. Let me say this is the the data here, we have foreign direct investment, GDP, GDS, and the number of year. So in this session, we said we want to make one period lag of, say, GDP. First, I have to make the folder for of GDP, how to create the folder in the work file. I follow the same procedure as before when we create the variable and how now we click right click here as you can see select the a new object from the new object you have many type of object here we have to select series and under na the name for object we have to type lag one GDP and then press OK. If you look at the command here, we have, of course, we have to put the command in order to insert the data. But before that, we have to look to the lag one GDP, click on it, you find it empty. And then we have to insert the data. How to insert the data? I'll go to the common and then type lag one GDP equal GDP lag one. Then press OK. Now, when we press OK, we have to press OK. We must press OK, uh, Enter in order to insert the data. If you don't press Enter, you will find the variable here empty. But when you finish this command and then you press enter you will find the data here just to click here you find the data already insert in this column the second thing is how to insert to find lag 2 we go to the same procedure right click new object lag 2 lag 2 gdp the object is serious as it is, Click, press OK, then you find lag 2 empty. We have to follow the same procedure as before, we'll go to the common, and then we type lag 2 GDP equal GDP lag 2, and then press enter. So we'll go here, we find the data inserted. This is the how to insert the first and the second lag into the model and to create the variable now we have to open or before we open the data we can rename the variable we created let me say the first one lag one GDP right click rename and say L1 GDP which is lag one GDP the second one press rename put L2 GDP lag two GDP now if we want to open the data GDP GDS lag one GDP lag two GDP open them as a group you find all the data here 
which is created GDP, GDS, GD, uh, lag one GDP, lag two GDP, lag three GDP, you can say, and then you can run the regression and do the analysis. How? I go to quick, estimate equation, type all the coefficient here, GDP, C, GDS, GDP, lag one, GDP, lag two, and then here we can see least square method. We can click OK. This is double check GDP constant GDS GDP minus one GDP minus two, which is lag two. Click OK. This is the output. If you want to go for more analysis, we are not going to discuss it here because we have another video to discuss the interpretation of the regression in this case and the diagnostic of the model but if you want to check just for the stability just go to view go to stability recursive estimate cause test and you can see this is the blue line line between the two line here which is five significant level to boundary and then we can say the model is uh, stable. If you want to test for diagnostic, you can test it from here. You can take serial correlation, and then you can see here the serial correlation is uh, not exist. And the second one, say histogram, histogram is not normal distributed but this is doesn't matter if the other diagnosis is okay we can proceed in the analysis the second here hit risk elasticity which is not good and then arch which is there is no arch effect anyway this is how to create lag one lag two in the model and then you can run the regression for that. Thank you for